I don't know much. I'm just a product of a Maoli and a coconut as it goes. I was raised by a village. Brought up on the values passed down by my nan. Be respectful, she says. Brush your hair and let the Lord guide you. A little lazy on that last part, but my roots are always set in stone. So I grew up that way. And I never questioned it because, you know, it's my nana. <laughs> Until I looked in the mirror and I realized that I wasn't born yesterday. It wasn't the mustache, the big muscles, not even the uneven eyebrows, but my skin. My brown scarred skin. Not the scabs, but the scars on my shoulders from all the years of shrugging it off. I realized that I wasn't born yesterday. I was born into a stereotype that dictated my future. A white world ran by the people on the dollar, pushing stacks out of the calloused hands of hard workers. These factories were built on the sweat and tears of my forefathers. See, the hood wasn't built by rats, and the dollars never had outback, so we back ourselves with each other, merry men. Less hoodlums, more Robin Hood, cause we pop the hood and run the hard yards, doing anything it takes, working three jobs just to pay the bills, but the bills stack up and we get cut back. Laid off, but now we're back on the Benny, but who's the benefit? They say, it ain't about how hard you hit, but where you hit them, so they hit us at our lowest point. Chop up a block, the stock a shelf, bring in another liquor store, smoke out the stress caused by surroundings, our pops another high density housing complex. It's a simple case of supply and demand. They split the unity that made us strong. They take the CEO from every community and chuck it on their title, on their ego, because a CEO of a big business is definitely going to do more for somewhere that they've never been to. These outsiders come in to fix problems that were never there to begin with. Is it a statement of fact or a matter of fact? It's a reoccurring theme at this point. Place a label on a people. Let their culture dictate how you treat them. Have them on trial. But the verdict predetermined the truth shackled to where they're from and now we're locked up, locked in, behind the cage of oppression of the opinion that we live in a white world ran by the dollar. But if we, nah, and that's why. And then they wonder why our people throw our fists in the air and let a leather patch face the past that they never could. But if we backtrack, play the record in reverse, we realize that Ponce and B's only on the flip side of the Pacific. Play the tune of Grayland to Glenninus and all the way to Paidata and how the South came to be, but they don't know our story, do they? So how about I tell you about the village that raised me while we distance ourselves from the world because of how close we are. If home is where the heart beats, plant my heart in the east, cause like I said, the dollars never had our backs, so we back ourselves with each other, call it hood rich. Well, they pass checks, we pass debts, and the bonds that, well, they pass checks, we pass debts, and the bonds that make us strong. So, we know. That being wealthy isn't about the figures in the bank. It's about the late night pickups, drop off at the garage parties. It's about those late night corridors with your nan over a cup of tea. About who you are and where you're from. So maybe I don't know much, but not much is enough to tell you that you can take a boy out the hood, but you will never take the hood out the boy. Kia ora.